What's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. So if you watched my review on this Diamond C 14 foot dump trailer, the only thing that I don't like about it that kind of just gets on my nerves is this latch right here. This is the latch for the, uh, the tarp. And we'll get a close up here in a minute. But this latch is hooked to this bolt right here. It's a black latch. And then what you do is you pick it up, but it doesn't stay up. No matter what you do, that latch falls down. So after I did that review of this trailer, some guys have got a hold of me from all over the country that say, yeah, we got the same problem. That's annoying. Why can't they figure that out? Well, I just figured it out with the help of my six-year-old. So I just got home from physical therapy and uh, came out here to see how much stuff's in the dump trailer. My brother's redoing some carpet in his house. He said he was going to chuck some stuff in here. My dad's going to borrow it again to do some fall cleaning in his garage. So I walked out here, and I haven't wore this vest in a while. And I stuck my hand in the pocket, and I'm walking out here, and I go, what's this? This is just a simple magnet with a hook on it. I bought a four pack of these for like a dollar or a dollar fifty at the dollar store months ago. The reason it was in my pocket is because my daughter keeps trying to figure out what will stick to my arm. It's surgical, it's surgical stainless steel so I don't think it's magnetic but she keeps trying to stick magnets on my arm now that I have three plates in my arm. So I'm walking out here, I find this in my pocket, I'm looking in the dump trailer to see how much stuff's in there and it goes, huh. So watch this. Right now this is being held up by this. But once you pick the tarp up, that goes up and once you start moving it, this falls back down. So pick that up, take this magnet, golden, won't come down. When I'm done with it, you can stick it right in here. It's out of the way. Some guys have said, hey, I'm going to build something. I'm going to weld it to here. The only problem on welding on a powder coated trailer is you got to take a grinder to that powder coat. Once you have exposed metal, you need to put something on there that's going to rust. And it'll usually cause the powder coat to start chipping away. Um, from my experience selling paint and dealing with powder coaters, uh, moisture will get under that powder coat and give it time. It'll just start popping that powder coat up. So I didn't want to go that route. So, I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Hopefully that saves you guys a bunch, um, a bunch of hassle. You don't have to weld, you don't have to grind, you don't gotta bolt a separate magnet on here. Um, and what's nice about these magnets, is I have two of them right here. I'm gonna stick one inside the front of the toolbox in case I lose this one. When I'm not using this one, stick it right on the inside, no one will know it's there. So. Let me give you guys a close up of what I'm talking about here. Here's a little close up. Sorry if the audio wasn't great back there. I gotta run to town here and let my truck warm up. But um, here's this latch. When you put it up, it usually just falls right down. No matter where you put it, it always falls right down once it's going. And it's, it's a pain when you're dragging the tarp back with the rope and it'll catch halfway back. So I thought maybe I can hook a magnet up here what can I do and then this thing like I said what's 30 40 cents that latch can't come down when I'm done with it pull it off stick it here on the inside I'm good to go stick one inside the lid of the uh, dump trailer I think we're good to go so like I said right now it's stuck up because it's stuck on the tarp but it always falls back down so, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, I think we got it all figured out. All right, just another look right there on the lid. Uh, the box kind of gets full uh, with bungee cords, the coupler lock on there. Uh, when I'm storing the trailer, I do run the power cord the seven way through that latch, uh, especially when I was renting this trailer out. Uh, that way, if someone does try and steal it, and then it's one more thing they got to do to get that box open. Um, but it's just been sitting in the driveway here for weeks. And then right up here, there's a tarp kit. I keep another one right there when I need it. 
I put it underneath that latch. It's about as easy as it can get. There you go, guys and gals. Um, these got like a paper on the back so they don't scuff it, which it's a dump trailer. I'm not that worried about it. But uh, yeah, so my daughter's screwing around trying to figure out what would stick to my elbow, which I'm sure I don't think anything sticks to surgical stainless steel. Um, I don't know why I reached in this vest pocket. That was in my pocket. Looking over the side of the trailer to see how much carpet was in there and it dawned on me. This is a simple, stupid fix or stupid, simple fix, however you want to say it. Um, and not just for diamond seas. I, when I was in the process of buying this trailer, I looked at other trailers. A lot of them had the same thing or there's a spring. Springs get rusty, they break. Um, I don't want to weld or screw into that right there. This is an easy fix. And what these are, I bought these at the dollar store a couple months ago. I have a big Craftsman um, two-door storage cabinet my dad gave me. He wanted at a gun raffle. And uh, I put these inside the door because I have a shelf where I keep all my power tools. And then this was just stuck to the door and I hang my sawzall blades on that. And on the other one, I hang the discs for my grinder. So pretty cool, pretty simple. Go get yourself some of these. Um, I think you'll be happy even if you do have a trailer that has a spring or another latch mechanism to hold that primary latch up Probably keep a few of these around uh, Just in case All right guys, I gotta go run some errands uh, It's Yeah time for meds anyways, so I will uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching as always be safe Stay happy and please be careful. Thanks guys